السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم مدیحا مریم فرام کالج آف ہوم اکنامکس کراچی ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ انڈیپینڈنٹ سیمپل ٹی ٹیسٹ آئی ایم ٹیچنگ دس لیکچر ٹو دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف بی ایس ہوم اکنامکس ففتھ سیمسٹر ویل دی انڈیپینڈنٹ سیمپل ٹی ٹیسٹ فرسٹ آف آل وی شوڈ نو وٹ ڈو وی ڈو وائی ڈو وی یوز انڈیپینڈنٹ سیمپل ٹی ٹیسٹ انڈیپینڈنٹ سیمپل ٹی ٹیسٹ کمپیئر دا مینس آف ٹو انڈیپینڈنٹ گروپس ان آرڈر ٹو ڈٹرمائن ویدر دیئر از اے اسٹیٹسٹیکل ایویڈنس دیٹ دی ایسوسیٹیڈ پاپولیشن مینس آر سگنیفیکنٹلی ڈفرینٹ ان ہائپوتھیسس انڈیپینڈنٹ سیمپل دیر آر ٹو ٹائپس آف ٹیسٹ پول ٹی ٹیسٹ اینڈ نان پول ٹی ٹیسٹ ان پول ٹی ٹیسٹ وی ہیو ایکول وی ایزیوم ایکول پاپولیشن اسٹینڈرڈ ایویشن اینڈ ان نان پول ٹی ٹیسٹ وی اکیو وی ہیو ان ایکول پاپولیشن اسٹینڈرڈ ایویشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنڈکٹ ہائپوتھیسز انڈیپینڈنٹ سیمپل پول ٹی ٹیسٹ ازمشنس آر سمپل رینڈم سیمپل لارج سیمپل سائز اور نارمل پاپولیشن انڈیپینڈنٹ سیمپلس ایکول پاپولیشن اسٹینڈرڈ ایویشنس سو فار ہائپوتھیسز ٹیسٹ پول ٹی ٹیسٹ وی ہیو ٹو ٹائپس آف پاپولیشن یو کین سی ہیئر نل ہائپوتھیسز اسٹیٹڈ نل ہائپوتھیسز از ایکول ٹو میو ون از ایکول ٹو میو ٹو There are two kinds of population involved. Two type of samples are here. So we will take mean population mean of two sample individual samples. And in alternative hypothesis, whatever the test is required for if there is a two tail test, we will use inequality sign. For left tail test, we will use less than sign. And for a right tail test, we will use greater than sign. then we will decide on level of significance degree of freedom and degree of freedom here because the two independent samples are involved you can see kindly see this red mark n1 plus n2 minus 2 we are using it then in step 3 we will take test t-test the formula of the t-test as written here did the term you can see here uh, sp sp here you kindly check the red mark sp sp is standard deviation of the pooled data the how we are going to find out the standard deviation of the pool data here we are going to find out the standard deviation of each of the sample size separately and then we will for, um, take a square of that standard deviations and then we will put it in this formula sp formula here you can see that and then you will decide on rejection rule and uh, for rejection rule Uh, you can see here the same rejection rule that we have been learning in our previous lectures and if the test statistics falls in the rejection region reject h not otherwise do not reject h not and interpret the result so we are going to do an example it is taken from neil a wise edition 10 so faculty salaries independent simple random samples of 35 faculty members in private institutions and 30 faculty members in public institutions yielded the data in table in this following table that you can see at 5% significance level do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean salaries of the faculty in private and public institutions differ now here we are going to check two things number 1 what will be our significance level there it is 5% significance level it means 0.05 alpha value will be 5.05 now our alternative hypothesis in our alternative hypothesis we can see that private institute differ with public institute means that there will be a non equality sign and the test will be the two tail test let's suppose that our 
mu one is equal to private institution salaries and mu two is equal to public institution salaries. How we are going to formulate our null hypothesis? Mu one is equal to mu two is our null hypothesis, and since it is given in the question that uh, if the mean salaries differ from the uh, of the both institutions differ. then we will find make a sign of inequality it means it is a two tail test our alternative hypothesis would be mu1 is not equal to mu2 since it is two tail test we will define divide alpha with 2 0.05 divided by 2 0.025 sample standard deviations are equally assumed you can see the sample standard deviation values in a, in this table s1 and s2 26.21 23.95 we are assuming that they are equal t is equal to the formula of the t is changed here so t is equal to x bar mean of private institutions minus mean of public institutions divided by pool standard deviation under root 1 upon sample size of 1 plus 1 upon sample size of second public institutions and for standard pool standard deviation we will find out the formula through this formula as you can see over here sp is equal to here sp is equal to n1 minus 1 this is the formula of pooled standard deviation now first we will put the values of pooled standard deviation since it is required in the t test so we will find out the value of the pooled standard deviation by putting the values we find out that the value of the sp is equal to 25.19 and then we will solve this equation and then we get 2.395 is our t value now we will see the value of the tabulated test open t table check check degree of freedoms for alpha divided by 2.025 our uh, degree of freedom in this case would be 63 you know why n1 plus n2 minus 2 it is 63 30 5 plus 30 is equal to 65 minus 2 is equal to 63 we will see we will check the uh, degree of freedom here is written 60 the nearest degree of freedom here is 60 so we will see 60 and 0.025 it is 2 the nearest our value 0.025 0.025 nearest value is for 63 is 60 62 the 2 is our uh, value now we will see we will put our value Two is the value. Uh, value of the t calculated is 2.395. So it comes here in the rejection region. We will uh, the 2.39 lies in the rejection region. We reject H not. It means that we conclude that the mean salaries for faculty in private and public institutions differ at five percent significance level.